Good morning. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry, and uh, today I had some apples that I needed to use, and some of them had begun to shrivel up, and uh, so, but don't throw away those apples unless they have, they've gone bad, because you can always use your, uh, your apples. You can, like I'm going to do today, I'm going to cook these down, and I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for, but uh, I'll figure it out in a little bit. <laughs> but I am going to go ahead and cook them down. And I have uh, I had about 10. So uh, I've got some lemon juice, and I just use bottled lemon juice. And I put it in my little uh, pan here. And this is what I'm going to cook them in. So, and I just coat my apples with uh, the lemon juice so they don't get... Uh, so they don't turn brown. They're good apples. They've just been here a little while. And uh, and they were beginning to break down a little bit. So, ooh, excuse me. So uh, I just thought I would go ahead and cook them down. And I may just put them in the refrigerator. Or I may make something with them today. But I want to show you how when I cook my apples, the spices and all that I put in them. And this way, I can use them for cobblers. I can use them for pies. I can use them for little fried apple pies. Uh, Y'all saw me on a, a previous video how I do my pear pie filling. And so I do this about the same way. I use about the same spices because we really love spice. Uh any time of the year but especially in the fall of the year because it just i don't know it just gives you a warm cozy feeling inside and uh just to smell those spices cooking and then when you finally get something made with them and you get to eat them they're really delicious so i just peel my apple and i'm just doing this by i'm not using a cutting board or anything this morning i peel my apple i cut it in half and then I quarter it and I take the, uh, can you see from my cup, baby? Mm -hmm. Okay. I take the, uh, the seed, the core out. And I cut mine in small pieces because that's, that's the way that I like them. Sometimes I'll cut them in half like that and then just cut them up. This is, when I don't have a whole bunch to do, this is just a quick and easy way. But I peel them, I quarter them. Then I take that core out and I cut them like that in small pieces. And all this will go to the rabbits right here. So we don't waste much around here. Um, it goes to the rabbits or it goes in the garden uh, as compost or uh, Roxy gets some of it. And that's our dog. Uh, Y'all have seen her. So, uh, all right, I like one more apple, and then I'm going to show you how I season my apples when I cook them. All right, and these were different kinds of apples. Some were Gaylor, some were uh, Ambrosia, I think, uh, and maybe there was a couple of Pink Ladies in there, I think. Uh, so it's just a, a different variety of apples. But that's okay because, like I say, I'm going to cook them down. And this one, as you can tell, has got a little brown spot on it there. But I just cut that out. I'm not going to, certainly not going to throw it away. Apples are too expensive this day and time. Well, everything is too expensive, but especially apples so and fruit. So I'm almost through. And then we're going to stir these up, get them coated with that lemon juice. And also, uh-oh, I was cutting them in the wrong one. Lemon juice gives them a little, uh, a little just lighter flavor. It just really makes them good. So I've probably got three tablespoons of lemon juice in here. And I'll stir them up really well. Okay. All right, baby, if you'll come around here, 
I'm going to put these on my burner over here. Now, I don't have any of my spices or anything out, so I'm, I'm going to get right in front of you, baby. Now, this is, if y'all have seen me make my uh, glazed apple strudel muffins and my pumpkin spice cake, y'all know that I, I uh, make my own spice. This is the spices that we like. It's cinnamon, allspice, and cloves. More cinnamon than allspice, more allspice and cloves because cloves is really strong. So, but this is just the combination of seasonings that we like. So I'm going to put about, I'm going to start out with two teaspoons and then I will, uh, after it gets to cooking good, I've got it, I'm going to put it on seven, which is medium high on my stove now uh this is a half a cup of water i'm gonna start out with a half a cup of water i don't like to put much water in my fruit because it weakens it down and i like for it to have that full body that full flavor of your fruit so what i do is i put my uh i put just a little bit of water in them so they'll start cooking and I, then i uh i put a lid on them and i turn them down to like five which is medium and i just sit, let them sit there and cook in the own juice baby i gotta get my sugar like i say i didn't have anything out this morning now when i say sugar this is my natural sweetener it's not pure sugar uh, it's the sugar alternative and this is pure cane which I like to use so I'm going to start out with three-fourths of a cup of my pure cane sweetener and this it this tastes the most like sugar of anything that I have used and believe me I've used them all uh, but it's granulated like sugar it feels like sugar and it gives your food a little sweeter taste than the others do that i have found and some of them leave a little tingly feeling on your tongue well the pure cane does not pure cane is the name brand yes mm -hmm. yeah but it's an alternative yeah alternative to sugar okay all right i've got my apples all coated with a spice i've got my half cup of water in it I've got my three-fourths cups of uh, alternative sugar in it, and I'm going to put the lid on it. I'm going to let them come to up to temp, up to like a boil, and then I'm going to cut them down to like four or five, which is medium, low to low, and I'm going to let them cook. Probably it'll ta it may take them 30 minutes to kind of cook down, <clears throat> and then maybe by that time i'll decide what i'm going to do with them <laughs> i may just put them in the fridge and leave them until tomorrow or the next day or i may go ahead and i'm kind of thinking about an apple cobbler with a keto crust on it that's kind of what i'm thinking about right now but uh, i haven't figured out how i can make little apple pies little hand pie the apple pies uh low carb yet because my gluten-free flour even though these are it's going to be gluten-free and sugar-free uh the flour still has a good many carbs in it so i've got to figure out what how i can make my little hand pies and let them be low carb so but until i can do that probably i'm gonna make an apple cobbler today so uh as soon as these get ready then i'll come back and i'll show you uh what i'm gonna do with them and maybe by that time I will have decided what I'm going to make. All right, honey, if you'll come over here, I'll show them the reason I don't put much water in here. You see all that juice? Mm -hmm. I told you it would cook, uh, the water would cook out of the apples and it would make its own juice. And this is the reason that I do not put, but just a little bit of water, just enough to get them started. And they've been cooking about 15 minutes and they're getting tender. 
But what I'm going to do after they've cooked about 10 more minutes, then I'm going to take the lid off and let all this water, uh, all this juice cook out of them. So uh, I'm just going to let them continue to cook until they get really tender. Okay, my apples are ready, and they cooked about 30 minutes. And if you can see down in here, baby, this is about, I'm going to, I decided to make a cobbler. Uh, you can see about how much juice is left in it, and that's what I want. And I've got about probably two tablespoons of butter in my bowl here. And I want some juice in my apple cobbler. So, and I'm not going to use all of these apples, because I'm just going to make a small one. So, about like that. All right. Now, let me clean my bowl up a little bit. All right, that's our cooked apples. And you can see they've got enough juice in them that they're going to be, uh, they're going to be real good. Now, I am making a keto crust. And y'all have seen me do this before. But I've got four ounces of cream cheese in here. And to that, I'm going to put two eggs. Now, these are room temperature eggs. You always want room temperature eggs, especially when you have already warmed your, your melted your cream cheese or gotten your cream cheese soft. That way, it, you have a smooth, a smooth texture. If you put cold eggs in here, what it's going to do it's going to cause that cream cheese to harden back up, and you're going to have little knots all in it. So that's the reason you want room temperature eggs. See, it's just as smooth as it can be now. To this, now, since this is a crust, I'm going to add some uh, pure... No, this is a King Arthur baking sugar. I'm going to add two tablespoons of that. It's the, your sugar alternative. Okay. I need to get out my vanilla. Okay. I'm going to add... Uh, oh, well, lost my little thing. About a teaspoon. That's about a teaspoon of vanilla. Now... In here, I have one half cup of almond flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and one half teaspoon of uh, cinnamon cloves and allspice, the, the mixture, that same mixture I've gotten there. So I'm going to mix this up real good. I've got my oven set on 350. And since my apples are really hot, it's only going to have to cook like 20 minutes. This crust only has to cook like 20 minutes and then it's done. So let me stir it up real good. Get all that almond flour incorporated in it. I think I made too much, but you know what? This same mixture, if I made too much, I'll make waffles in the morning for breakfast. And it will be so good. So I'll just pour my crust on it. Honey, I think you're going to get to have some waffles in the morning. Okay. I can handle that. All right. Nope. I'm going to put it all on there. Because this crust is not like your wheat crust, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really, uh, what I, how do I want to say it? Rise. That's the word I was looking for. It really doesn't rise up. It's, even though it has the baking powder in it and it's plenty airy, it just doesn't rise up and make a really big fluffy cup crust like your uh, wheat flour does. Okay, I'm fixing to put this in the oven on 350. I'm going to set my timer 20 minutes. It's going to be done, and I'm going to show you what it looks like.
here it comes. Okay, let me get another. Uh oh. It's hot. Oh, okay. Wow. There we go. It's a beautiful apple cobbler with a Tito topping. Yep. And no this, sugar, uh -uh. no gluten. This is our apple cobbler that y'all saw me peel my apples, cook them down, and make my cobbler this morning. So it's going to be really, really hot. But I'm going to uh, cut into it to show y'all. You want a picture first? Uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Mm. Oh my. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Look at that keto crust. Wow. No sugar, no gluten. Okay. I'm going to taste. Mm. Wow gonna be hot oh it's gonna be hot hmm hmm so hot <laughs> this is so good y'all this is really, really good. Your crust is a little sweet, but not too sweet because you've got your sweetener in your apples. And so your the sweetness in your crust does not overpower the sweetness in your apples. It is delicious. It's now, beautiful, I'll tell you that. Yes, it is. Now, if I was making a pie, uh, honey, you can come in here and see the juice. But this is the way we like our cobbler. We like juice in it, but if I was making a pie, I would have put a little cornstarch, like a tablespoon of cornstarch uh, or xanthan gum. Xanthan gum doesn't have the calories that your cornstarch does and to just thicken that juice a little bit, but we like it in our cobblers like that. So there's, this is good. There's nothing... Nothing says you can't have a delicious dessert. And it's mm -mm. Keto. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is really good. Mm. That is so good. And that butter that I put in the bottom, you can taste it. Oh, it is delicious. So, this is my apple cobbler today that y'all saw me from apples on the table to, to apples on the table. <laughs> Raw delicious apples. back in healthy food. That's right. So uh, <clears throat> subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. Share this video. And I will catch y'all next time.